Okie dokie. This is lesson five in Canandaigua Academy's Calc BC Unit 7. We're going to deal with relative rates at which functions grow. Relative rates. Which functions grow faster than which other functions? How do we know? How do we use L'Hopital's rule to help us with that? That's the idea in today's lesson. Hey, uh, quick side notes. If you're in our calculus class or if you're using the Finney, Demana, Waits, Kennedy, Orange, AP Calculus book. There's an excellent couple of notes on page 453. Uh, one is a historical note on Grace Hopper, uh, who is one of the foremost mathematicians uh, of the 20th century in terms of, of some of her developments. Really, really good stuff there. Um, the other is a short narrative at the start of this particular section of the textbook on rates of growth. What does it mean to say that a function grows exponentially? It is a very cool read prepared to blow your mind away because we kind of think of infinity and we don't have any idea what that is. So that's a nice little thing to think about uh, if you're one of those folks who likes to think about the transfinite. So on today's show, I offer the following definition. We're going to let f of x and g of x be positive for sufficiently large x. And all that means is even if f of x and g of x are, are negative for a while, eventually they go positive and they stay positive. We say f grows faster than g as x approaches infinity if the limit as x approaches infinity of f over g is infinity or similarly the limit of g over f is zero f and g grow at the same rate as x approaches infinity if the limit as x approaches infinity of f over g is some number l and that l is not zero. So if we put one function over the other, take a limit as x gets large, and that limit is infinity, then the function on top grows faster. If we put one function over another, take a limit as x approaches infinity, and that limit is zero, then the function on bottom grows faster. Those are intuitive ideas. They make sense if we think about them. If we put one function over the other, take a limit as x approaches infinity, and we get 3, or 1 half, or 100 million, we say that those two functions grow at the same rate. This has two very interesting side consequences that I will open up for you. Uh, two side notes. La, la, two side notes. Side note one. By this definition, y equals 100x and y equals x grow at the same rate. Because if I put one over the other and take a limit as x approaches infinity, I get 100, and that is not zero. It seems weird to think about because you think about y equals 100x getting to infinity first. But that's not the point. The point is not that y equals 100x gets to infinity first. The point is that the kind of function that 100x is grows as fast as the kind of function that x is. Uh, big thing too. Growing at the same rate is transitive. And for those of us who remember our properties of equality, 
transitive means if F grows at the same rate that G does and G grows at the same rate as X as H does, then F grows at the same rate as H does. Okay? Okay. Show that y equals e to the x grows faster than y equals x cubed as x approaches infinity. I can do that. I can do that. To show grows faster, I'm going to take a limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x over x cubed, and I'm going to hope that that limit is infinity. Now, lucky for us, this is great. That's an infinity in the numerator and an infinity in the denominator. So we're going to try L'Hopital's rule. We're going to take a limit as x approaches infinity, take the derivative of the top, the derivative of the bottom, and try again. And sure enough, that's infinity over infinity, more L'Hopital. That's a limit. x approaches infinity. Derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, and try again. And that's still not good enough. And so we try again, a little bit more L'Hopital. Derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom. Now we've got what we need. Because the limit of f over g is infinity, e to the x grows faster. Similarly, show that y equals ln x grows slower than y equals, oh, let's pick something that looks like it grows slow, radical x as x approaches infinity. If I want to show grows slower, I take a limit as x approaches infinity of ln x over radical x, and I hope that that goes to zero. And I'm thinking infinity over infinity, drag out the old French guy, takes the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, and try again. Now, I don't need L'Hopital's rule in this case because I'm going to rearrange what I see. That's 1 over x divided by 1 over 2 radical x. And I know from algebraic manipulation that that is 2 over radical x, and I know that that's going to 0. So I only use L'Hopital's rule once because the rest is algebraic manipulation after that. Since I put one function over the other, took a limit at infinity, got zero, the function on bottom grows faster, the function on top grows slower. I will ask you to consider the following in some on your own time. One, I want to show that y equals 4 to the x grows faster than y equals 3 to the x as x approaches infinity. That's one thing I'd like us to consider before class comes tomorrow. You could probably hit the pause button and do it real quick. Two, I want to show that y equals a to the x, regardless of a as long as it's bigger than 1, grows faster than y equals x squared as x approaches infinity. I want to show that the exponential function, regardless of how slow its growth appears to be initially, catches up and grows faster. And then, then 3, I want to show that y equals x and y equals 2x plus cosine x grow at 
the same rate as x approaches infinity. Those are some things for you to think about on your own between now and the time we gather together. Um, real quick as we close, this whole grows faster than thing, it enables us to establish a pecking order. Because we can do this stuff, we can, we can say, okay, who grows faster than whom, who's doing better than what. There's a pecking order for functions in terms of uh, fast functions and slow functions. Uh, and they go like this. Any function of the form x to the x, any function variable to a variable power grows very, very fast as x gets large. The base is getting bigger and bigger. The exponent is getting bigger and bigger. Those grow really, really fast. Um, all factorial functions, all factorial functions uh, grow next quickest. Then you've got all your exponentials. 3 to the x, 5 to the x, even 1.01 to the x grows faster than all polynomials. All of them. Uh, and then lastly but not leastly, you've got your logarithmic functions. Logarithmic functions get to infinity. They just get to infinity last. Uh, and so just if you're looking for a quickie way to do a multiple choice question uh, on rates of growth, you can always remember the very easy mnemonic device, x to the x FEPL. It's a very easy mnemonic device to remember. Uh, it, it's just one of those things to file away. x to the x grows faster than factorial, grows faster than exponential, grows faster than polynomial, grows faster than logarithmic. And so if I ask you to put a bunch of functions in order by who grows faster than whom, you should be able to do that with little, if any, trouble. Okay, so since I threw some questions into your, into your video, I don't want to cut into your time anymore. want to let you do that. We'll see you tomorrow and be glad to do it.